In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how to find second largest number in an array. So the problem statement is given an array of integers, find second largest number in an array. So if you see the first example, then the second largest number in this array is 18. 34 is the largest element and 18 is the second largest element. And if you see the second example, then uh, the second largest number does not exist. Only one number is present thrice. So in this tutorial, I am going to discuss multiple approaches and their time complexity to solve this problem. The first approach is to simply sort the array and once we sort the array, we can print the element present at index n minus 2 where n is the size of an array. So you can see uh, this is an unsorted array and once we sort the array, then the element of an array is arranged like this in a sorted order and here is the indexes 0 1 2 3 4 the size of this array is 5 so the value of n is 5 and if we see the element present at index n minus 2 uh, which is 3 this is 18 so we can simply print this element so this is the second largest element present in this array but remember this approach does not work if the element of an array is repeated so what if the 18 is repeated twice then in this case the element will be 1 1 7 18 and 18 so the second largest element in this case is 7 but using this approach we get the answer 18 which is wrong so remember this approach only works if the element is unique if the element is not repeated in an array if the element is repeated then this approach does not work and here is the code here i have uh, assigned the length of an array then i check if the size of an array is less than two what if only one element is present in an array or the array is empty then the second largest element does not exist then uh, uh, I sort this array and print the element present at index n minus 2 so we get the second largest element but the time complexity for sorting an array is o n log n so the time complexity of this approach is o n log n o n so o n log n so now let's uh, see our next approach in which uh, we solve this problem in o n time complexity this is the second approach and the idea here is to traverse an array and using two variable or you can say two pointer we find the second largest element so let's start with the uh, with this condition so what if the array is empty or the array only contains one element so there is no point to find the second largest element we simply return and print the second largest element does not exist so if it's not the case then here we have declared two variable second uh, largest and second largest and assign the integer minimum possible value which is uh, this one we assign this value in both the variables and then what we uh, what we are doing is we traversing an array and we uh, using these uh, two variable we are finding the second largest element so let's dry run this code so we are starting with zero index and our terminating condition is array uh, the value of i is less than array dot length so the first value the element present at zeroth index is minus one so is minus one is greater than largest so the value of largest is uh, this one yes minus one is greater than this variable so in second largest we assign the value of largest which is the minimum value so we assign this value here and minus one in largest then in this condition we are checking if the value if the current value is not equal to the largest 
and the current value is greater than the second largest then assign this value in second largest variable so this condition is a skip now let's move to next element which is 7 is 7 is greater than the value assigned at largest so the current value of largest is minus 1 yes it is greater so in second largest we assign minus 1 and 7 in largest and is current value which is 7 is not equal to largest so the value of largest is 7 and the current value is 7 so again this condition is a skip now let's move to next condition which is uh, next value which is 1 is 1 is greater than largest no is 1 is not equal to the largest so the value of largest is 7 and 1 yes it's not equal and is the uh, is 1 greater than the value assigned at second largest so the value assigned at second largest is minus 1 yes 1 is greater so the new value of largest uh, second largest is 1 next is 34 so in second largest we assign the value present at largest so 7 is assigned here and 34 is assigned to second largest now again the current uh, number is 34 and the value assigned at largest is 34 so again this condition is skipped now let's move to next element which is 18 is 18 is greater than the largest so the value of largest is 34 so no 18 is not greater is the current value is equal to the value assigned at largest variable so the current value is 18 and the value assigned at largest is 34 so no it's not equal and is 18 is greater than the value assigned at second largest which is 1 yes 18 is greater than sec value assigned at second largest so here the value of second largest is 18 so after that we came out of this loop and we return so we return 18 so the output i i mean uh, the second largest element we found is 18 so 18 is returned so this method works both for uh, both for i mean uh, if the element of an array is repeated then this method also works fine for that case so now let's move to mean method and here i have declared an array and then i'm calling this method uh, to print the second largest element and if i run this code so see um, the second largest element is 70 and we use uh, we printed second largest uh, using both the method i mean using sorting and without using sorting so the time complexity of this approach is o n and which is uh, better than our previous approach so uh, that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video